dead, four others were wounded. Investigators tell KRCG 13's Mark Slabbit fighting and arguments likely were the motives for the weekend gun violence. Columbia police say 56-year-old Lewis Hart of Columbia died after a Friday afternoon shooting on Clark Lane. Investigators say Hart and another man, whose name has not been released, were shooting at each other. The first shooting happened at Columbia's White Castle restaurant. Lewis Hart was taken by ambulance to a hospital before he died. The other man was taken by a personal vehicle to a hospital after he was shot. The second shooting happened at 1.40 a.m. on Sunday near the Imperial Coffee House and Lounge in the 1700 block of Paris Road. Police say two men were shot and were taken to a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Investigators believe several people were involved with the gun violence during a large disturbance. Police made no arrests. The third shooting happened during a large gathering of people at the intersection of 9th and Broadway in downtown Columbia at 3 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. Police say someone shot a woman in a vehicle near the disturbance, leaving her with non-life-threatening injuries. Police arrested 20-year-old Calvin Johnson of Columbia, 19-year-old Tanika Dunn of Sykeston, and 18-year-old Jerlisha Jackson of Columbia for their involvement with the shooting incident. If people start fighting, I think that's probably a good time to leave, try to get away from the area. It, the biggest tip is if you hear gunshots, call 911 immediately. Uh, no matter what, whether you can confirm it or not, I know we're also approaching the time where there's going to be a lot of fireworks. Police say all three shooting incidents are ongoing investigations. They want anyone with any information to call Columbia Crime Stoppers at 573-875-TIPS to remain anonymous. Reporting in Columbia, Mark Slavitt, KRCG 13. The Boone County prosecutor has charged Calvin Johnson with first degree assault, unlawful use of a weapon and armed criminal action. Tanika Dunn faces prosecution for first degree assault and armed criminal action. Jerlicia Jackson faces charges for being an accessory to first degree assault, unlawful use of a weapon and armed criminal action.